consider a three level page table to translate a 39 bit virtual address to a physical address as shown below. The page size is 4 kilobytes and the page table entry size at every level is 8 bytes. A process P is currently using 2 GB virtual memory which the OS mapped to 2 GB of physical memory. So the minimum amount of memory required for the page table of P across all levels is how much kilobytes. So this is the way the 39-bit virtual address is being used to translate that virtual address to the physical address. And at each level of the page table, the bits are used to map into that particular page table of that level. So we will try to understand how this happens and what is the minimum amount of memory required. So we have been given that currently the virtual space that is being used is 2 GB. So we are converting it into bytes. So that becomes 2 into 2 to the power of 30, which is for giga, 2 to the power of 31 bytes. Page size is 4 kilobyte. Again, we are converting this into byte. So multiplying it by 2 to the power of 10. So this becomes 2 to the power of 12 bytes. So if we talk about the virtual address space, so now how many pages are we going to have if the page size is 4 kilobyte and this whole of this is 2 to the power of 31 bytes. We will divide 2 to the power of 31 divided by the page size. This gives us 2 to the power of 19 pages. So there are in total 2 to the power of 19 pages. And we know that as many pages as there are there, that many entries have to be there in the page table. So we know that the number of pages are going to be 2 to the power of 19. And if we look at the page table, there will be one entry for each page number. So let's say our logical address, if we had, it would have been 19 bits for the page, page number and 12 bits for the offset. Why 12 bits? Because the page size is 4 kilobyte. This is given over here. Page size is 2 to the power of 12 bytes and the page size and the frame size are going to be the same. So the offset within a particular page or within a frame is given by these 12 bits. So let's see now about the physical address space that is also given to us in the question as 2 GB. So the physical address space is also 2 GB, which is 2 to the power of 31 bytes. So how many number of frames will be there? Now we are talking about the physical memory. So if this is the total number of bytes and the page size is 2 to the power of 12. Again, page size and frame size is going to be the same. So dividing the physical address space by the page size, this gives us total number of frames in the physical memory. So this is frame 0, frame 1 and in total there are going to be 2 to the power of 19 frames. This is minus 1 because we are starting with 0. And each frame over here is go going to be of 4 kilobyte which is 2 to the power of 12 bytes. In this page table using this page number if we will map into that particular entry of the page table get the frame number from there and the frame number as well as the offset which will come directly from here offset will help us map into that particular address in the physical memory. So we know that the number of entries in the page table is going to be equal to the number of pages which is 2 to the power of 19. And we also know that each page table entry is 8 bytes. This is given in the question. So if we construct one page table, what will be its size? 2 to the power of 19 into 8 bytes, which is 2 to the power of 3, 2 to the power of 22 bytes. So this is going to be the size of the page table. And this page table is also going to be there in the main memory only. So how much space is it going to take in the main memory? So how many number of frames that will be required? This total size of the page table 
divided by the page size or the frame size, it is going to require 2 to the power of 10 frames. In the traditional method, what we can do is have all these 2 to the power of 10 frames consecutively and the page tables. So if this is the consecutive 2 to the power of 10 frames, then the page table can go here. But we have seen earlier and discussed this that it is very difficult to find consecutive 2 to the power of 10 frames. So that is why what is done is we can break this ta page table into multiple frames and these frames can be in different parts of the main memory. So this is what we have done is that, that we required 2 to the power of 10 frames. So in each frame we have kept one part of the page table. So that means there will be 2 to the power of 10 inner page tables and we also know that the size of the frame is 2 to the power of 12 and since each page table entry is 8 bytes, so how many entries will be there in one frame that also we can check. So what we have done is because we knew that we will require 2 to the power of 10 frames. Now we have broken this page table and we are keeping each part in a different frame. So the size of one page table is going to be in one page. So we know it is going to be 2 to the power of 12 bytes because that is the page size. We also know that each page table entry is 8 bytes. So in one of these inner page tables, let us call this level as the inner level. So the number of entries in one of these page tables is going to be the page size divided by the size of the entry. So we know that in one frame, there are going to be 2 to the power of 9 entries. So let's say if this is one frame, then this will be entry for one page, another page, another page and 2 to the power of 9 minus 1. So these many total entries are going to be there in one uh, part of this page table, this inner page table which is in one frame. Similarly in another frame, again this will be an entry for one, uh, one page, another page and similarly 2 to the power of 9 entries are going to be there. So if we know if we know that we have to go to this particular frame for that page table, once we know that inner page table, that which inner page table we are referring to, then we need to know which offset is there in this inner page table. So now to know that since there are 2 to the power of 9 entries, we will need 9 bits to enter into any of these inner page tables. So this is clear now that once we know that in these inner page tables, which page table we are referring to, then to go within that page table to map or find that particular page for getting the frame number, we will need 9 bits. So let's say this was the page table, inner page table we were referring to and we found that this is the frame number. So now this frame number can be used to go into the physical memory. That is why for this level 3 offset, they said that 9 bits are going to be required. Now there are 2 to the power of 10 inner page tables. This will start and at some frame this will start at some frame so the, there will be different frames and there will be a different address for all these frames. So that means now we need to maintain the address of these 2 to the power of inner 2 to the power of 10 inner page tables. So now we will require the next level page table and this page table needs to have 2 to the power of 10 entries so that it can keep address of all these 2 to the power of 10 inner page tables. So this is that next level page table 
and here it is going to keep the page table address it will keep the page table address of this page table the next entry will keep track of or maintain the address of the next page table and so on the last entry will keep track of the last 2 to the power of 10 page table so there are going to be 2 to the power of 10 entries over here to keep track of these 2 to the power of 10 inner page tables so now we need to check whether this next level page table will it fit in one frame or again this will also require multiple frames so for this now we need to know the size of this next level page table we know that there are 2 to the power of 10 entries in this page next level page table and each page table is going entry is 8 bytes so what will be the size of this page table 2 to the power of 10 into 2 to the power of 3 which is 2 to the power of 13 bytes we have seen earlier that our frame size is 2 to the power of 12 so how many frames will be required 2 to the power of 13 which is the size of this page table divided by the frame size 2 frames will be required so now that means this page table will be kept in 2 frames so there will be 2 frames or 2 next level page tables and how many entries will be there in each page table which the total number of entries 2 to the power of 10 divided by 2 because we are having 2 of these so 2 to the power of 9 entries will be there and that is we have seen earlier that in one frame we can have only 2 to the power of 9 entries so this is how this next level page table will be broken again into two parts one will come in one frame and the other will come in one frame so there will be 2 to the power of 9 entries here and 2 to the power of 9 entries in this next level page table and each of these is going to point to 2 to the power of 9 tables of the inner part so this is going to point to 2 to the power of 10 divided by 2 uh, inner page tables and this is also going to point to half of these inner page tables now again as we see that there are going to be 2 to the power of 9 entries here in at this level so we have been given this also that at level 2 offset 9 bits will be required and this is how you can compute also that at each level how many bits will be required so we are here that we have broken this level 2 page table into two parts and now since there are two next level page tables again we will require one page table over here at the outer level which will now keep track of the addresses of these two frames so to maintain the address of these two next level page tables we will require an outer level page table currently it will have only two entries one which will point to this one and the other which will be pointing to this one so this is how it is going to be so inner level we had 2 to the power of 10 to to point to these tables now we had two of these next level page tables and to point to these addresses now of these two pay, uh, tables now we have an outer level page table so this is keeping track of this and this is keeping track of this and if required there can be more entries as well but since it is taking going to take one frame and one frame there will again be 2 to the power of 9 bits uh, entries that is possible so again for this outer level page table also 9 bits will be required so this is the whole scenario now this was our virtual address so this is the level 1 offset which is giving which is of 9 bits which maps into the level 3 page table so now we can know once we know the number of levels that are required so we will say that this is level 1 page table then level 2 page table and level 3 page table so 9 bits will be required to map into this level 3 page table 
so let's say this was the address that was given this is the address of the level 2 page table so using this address we will go to that particular page table now to map into this level 2 page table once we have reached this address now which entry do are we referring to this will be given by the level 2 offset so these 9 bits will help us map into this entry let's say it is mapping to this address so this address is pointing now to the level 1 page table so whichever level 1 page table we are into we will go to that level page table and use this level 3 page offset to map into that particular entry over here once we map into here we will get the frame number using the frame number and the page offset we will get the physical address so this frame number which we will get from this innermost page table and using the page offset now we can go into that particular physical address in the ram so this is how the page tables are created at each level so the total number of page tables that we are having is one level 3 page table two level 2 page tables and 1024 which is 2 to the power of 10 level 3 page tables so there are total if we see if we add all of these there are 1027 page tables and we know that each page table had 2 to the power of 9 entries and each entry required 8 bytes so what is the total memory required the number of page tables into number of entries into size of each entry so this if we multiply and then we are dividing by 2 to the power of 10 this is going to give us bytes so to convert into kilobytes we are dividing by 2 to the power of 10 this gives us 4108 kilobyte and this is the uh, mem uh, memory required for these page tables